Hi, I'm Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pattern that's called Garden Delight. This is from the Quilt Factory. Deb Grogan designed it and it's a Fab Five pattern. That means we need five different fabrics, one yard each. So these are the two lights I'm going to use. These are my two darks and this one will be for the border. So you grab your five fabrics and let's get started. The first step is to get one yard off of each of these bolts. The collection I'm using, it's from Wyndham Fabrics and it's called Midnight. It's always a good idea to iron your fabrics before you cut them because as they come off the bolt, they might have some wrinkles in them. I'm going to go ahead and get everything all cut to size. I can't give you the measurements because it's not my pattern, but Deb Grogan's patterns are always very easy to follow. Everything is cut. The next step is to take these larger light squares and we're going to draw on the back side of them. We're going to draw a diagonal line from corner to corner. I like to use a light pencil line. Once the light squares are all marked, we're going to pair them up with the dark squares that are the same size. We're going to need two of these. Then we're going to need two of these. Then we're going to need one of these darks with this light and one of these darks with this light. I'm here at the sewing machine with all of these pairs and I'm going to line up the edges here and stitch down both sides of the drawn line one quarter inch away from the, from the line. All we have to do now is cut these right along that line that we drew earlier. Both halves come to the ironing board and I like to put the light half down and then kind of roll or peel the top half open and that helps keep that seam nice and straight. And then I just put my iron down on it and then add some steam. The blocks need to get trimmed down just a little bit. They need to get trimmed down to exactly four inches and they're a little bit bigger than that now. So you can put this on your cutting mat. If you have a twirling mat, you can put them on there. And I'm going to line up these two edges on two of the lines with the diagonal going this way so that I'm trimming off a little bit from two opposite corners here. So we're gonna trim this side down and then trim this side down. And the last step would be to trim off this one last little bit here, that's the dog ear. There is a second method to trimming your blocks. If you have a strip tube ruler, this is a common ruler, I use it on a lot of projects, you can use this, you can take the four inch line here and you can put it on your stitching line. So it's right along the stitching, it's not on the cut edge, it's on the stitching. And then you can trim a little bit off of these two sides. Make sure I've got it trimmed there. And now this is exactly the right size that you need. All we have to do is iron it and cut off those dog ears. All of those blocks are ironed and trimmed and I'm going to take these and two of these smaller squares of that background and two of that background over to the sewing machine. The block layout is pretty simple. These backgrounds go in opposite corners. 
these two over here and then we'll start putting these and these two go like that so we've got a light diamond in the middle and then we'll finish off the star parts like that and the other star parts like this of course the pattern has the layout so you don't have to remember where anything goes all right that looks correct so now i'm just going to make the four rows and sew the four rows together For the seam allowances, this top row, all of the seam allowances will get pressed to the right. So all I'm doing is making sure that that seam allowance is facing that way, and then I'm just kind of squashing it with my fingernail. This one also going that way. Takes a little bit of extra pressing where that extra bulk is there. Then when I make the next row, I will just put the seam allowances going the opposite way third row this way, fourth row that way. The reason that we press all of the seam allowances in opposite directions is this. When I want to sew these rows together, this one to this one, these are going that way, the bottom ones are going up, so they're going in opposite directions and it makes a lot less bulk and it makes it very easy to match these intersections. All right, I'm coming off the last seam for the last row. And that is our entire first star block. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of them stitched up just like that. The blocks are all done. And this is everything else we need to lay out the quilt. We've got sashing, cornerstones, that little inside border, and the outside border. The quilt has 12 of these star blocks. So there's three going across and there will be four rows up and every block is laid out exactly the same way. The only other things we need to add is this little border which gets stitched all the way around the outside. And then we've got this nice outside border. Again, it's going to go all the way around the quilt. And it's very easy to sew all of this together. We're going to make a row here that is patchwork, sashing, patchwork, sashing. The next row is just sashing, cornerstone, sashing, cornerstone, sashing. So you make all those separate rows, sew them together, put the borders on, then I can get it loaded onto the quilting machine. The quilt is all loaded on the machine and I've got four different colors of thread that I think will look good for the quilting. I could use this pale gray. This is not gonna show very much even in the dark. It's not gonna show at all in the light. Now, if you want the quilting to show, this would be the best choice because it will really show in the light areas and a little bit in that color this nice light blue. It's going to blend in pretty well. It'll show a little here, maybe a little bit there. I think I'm going to go with this one because we'll show a little bit in the light, a little bit in that dark, not at all there, but it's a nice medium blue and should look really nice on all the patchwork. For the quilting pattern, I'm using one called Bubble Play. It's just a lot of circles that just barely touch each other. And I think the circles are nice and even, big and little, and they won't fight with any of the patchwork.
The Garden Delight quilt is all done, and I'm very happy with how the stars look. I've got these two different colors of blue. They're almost the same value. This one's a little darker, and that makes the star points look really bold, but it also allows you to see the cornerstones here. If they were the same color blue, quilt would look good, but the cornerstones wouldn't be quite as prominent. I really like the circular quilting. It doesn't fight with any of the patchwork. And look how nice it looks on the back. This is grunge on the back. It's got those different shades and the circles just look awesome. This size, it's 69, 54 by 69 inches. And that's with one yard of five different prints. Now you can easily make a bigger quilt by getting two yards of the five prints. And that will give you a quilt that's about 69 by 98 three yards each, you can get a really big quilt, 98 by 98. And of course, you can add extra borders to make even larger sizes. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do light stars with dark background or the opposite. So I made a little sample with these dark background and light stars. It almost looks like a night sky. The stars are still nice and bold. The whole quilt is slightly darker. And I do think I like this one a little bit better, but they're both very nice. Let me know which you prefer. You can leave a comment and tell me dark background or light background. Thanks so much for watching our video today. We hope you enjoyed it. And we really appreciate you spending your time with us while we make quilts. Now at the end of every video, we like to do a giveaway. Today's giveaway, it's a pretty big quilt. And this pattern is called Lady Baltimore. It's one that I made from a layer cake. It's a fairly easy pattern to make, but today you can win it. This is made with these beautiful bright florals from Moda Fabrics, and it's very easy to enter the giveaway. All you do is click the link right below this video that says giveaway and put in your name and your email address, and you might be the next lucky winner. Now, if you like our videos and you want to support us, the best thing you can do is subscribe to our YouTube channel. That really helps us out. Happy quilting.